Hi, my name is Shishir Hatangdi and you're watching Cricket Ka Kamal on My Sports. Uh, I've got somebody very, very special in the cricketing space today. Uh, needs no introduction, but I'll have to introduce her. Uh, for the viewer, for the fans who love Indian cricket, uh, Mithali Raj, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, dying to talk to you. Personally, been a big fan of yours. So let me start with the early days of cricket, which is so important uh, as an inspiration for youngsters. And uh, you were born in Jodhpur. Yeah, I was born in Jodhpur. And, Raised uh, in Hyderabad. Yeah. So, from Jodhpur, of course, that will tell me a little bit about your family background. You went to Hyderabad. Yeah. Uh, reason being? Uh, dad was in Air Force. Oh, okay. So, his posting was in Jodhpur. That's where I was born. But we are uh, Hyderabadis and uh, my schooling... I was brought up in Hyderabad. So after his posting, he got into bank and uh, we settled in Hyderabad. And early days of cricket, of course, uh, you can tell us verbatim because we've seen the movie, but Shabash uh, me uh, too, and you must watch it if you haven't, but this is live. Uh, so early days, what attracted you to the game? Well, honestly, uh, cricket didn't attract me because I didn't know about the sport. I was in... Uh, I was learning classical dance, Bharatanatyam, for good eight years. And um, my brother used to play cricket. Any uh, children of uh, servicemen you can ask, they will say that discipline is the core of their, um, you know, family uh, environment. Values, yeah. yeah. Uh, being the youngest among the two siblings, I, I was pretty lazy. I used to make, I would be the last person to get up at home. And my dad felt that to inculcate the habit of early rising and the discipline in me, he said, let me tag this girl along with uh, my brother to the academy. So that was my first intro to the sport where I saw this bunch of boys playing cricket. And every day I would wake up in the ground because I, it was like 6 a.m. Cricket yeah. is still in India. Everybody regards it as early morning game where yes. everybody goes in the morning for training. And it, the academy was exclusive boys. Okay. So there was not even Which a single this girl. This was St. John's Cricket Academy okay. in Second Rabat. Okay. And uh, my brother used to go there for, for his practice. practice. Yes. And uh, I would be with my dad finishing my homework, school homework and wait for my brother to finish his training. And uh, I was quite inquisitive because each time the ball would come towards me throwing back a young kid of eight, nine years. So uh, my brother's coach, Jyoti Prasad. Oh, yes. Yeah. So he, one day he took interest. He said, this girl comes every day, six o'clock in the morning. So let me throw a few tennis balls at her. Probably he's seen the talent in me, which nobody else has. And right. he said, um, he told my dad that it would be better if you invest your time and your energy in turning her into a cricketer than your son, because she shows a lot of talent. And, uh, you know, she probably might end up playing for country than your son. And uh, tell me, during this period when you were sort of getting into the system, uh, and a, a boys academy. Were there other girls around or uh, you were the only? I was the only girl and I've never played cricket on the streets. Unlike my teammates who have a story about playing yeah. in the backyard gully, with their gully brothers. Cricket. Gully cricket. Uh, I started in a very professional setup. So cricket was not, I didn't get into it as a hobby. Straight away it was in a very professional setup that I learned the sport. 